Hi, it's John. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review of a Chibson or Chinese Gibson Les Paul. There's tons of these things around on the internet. Um, the reason why I bought one was because I've got loads of kids who come to the school who want to play sort of Guns N' Roses and loads of rock stuff. And I thought it'd be really cool to have something that resembles a Gibson for the kids to play on that I don't have to cry if they drop it or scratch it, etc. So I thought, why not order one and see how they go? I think it was $180 from AliExpress or one of those um, stores online. So I thought for that price, why not? Let's get one and see how it goes. And the long story short, when it arrived, it was absolutely laughable. Uh, the setup was terrible. All of the electrics were a joke, everything like that. So I've got a really good friend who works at Stephen James Guitars here in Middlesbrough. If you check them out online, um, Stephen James Guitars on Google or YouTube channels. Um, Pete there, my local guitar tech, he, he kind of laughed at me when I took this guitar in and, and said, right, how are we gonna fix this? So a list of the things I've done. First of all, I put some bare knuckle uh, Peter Green humbuckers in it, which are really, really good. Then I also changed all of the hardware on the guitar. So I got some uh, a, a Gibson ABR1 bridge with some, um, I can't remember where the tailpiece came from, but I had to get the conversion posts as well. So I got all the conversion kit easily available online. You can find them anywhere. All of the top hat knobs and things like that. Then we put a 59 Les Paul wiring harness in that my guitar tech did for me, which sounds really good too. Um, the rhythm and treble cap, all of that kind of thing, and the pickup surrounds, really easy to order off eBay and fit. Um, the fret dressing was one thing. It really needed fret dressing, I think twice or three times, just because, again, for $180, what can you expect? You don't, you're not gonna get a custom shop guitar for that. Um, I changed the, the tuning pegs to Grover's and sort of did a bit of that nickel aging thing, if you can see a bit of that there. So, nice rusted tuners there. Um, the Gibson logo is cool, but again, it's not really imperative because it's not a Gibson, it's a Chinese. The serial number on the back of these is a bit laughable too, if I just zoom in close and show you that. Anybody looking at real custom shop things, um, you can tell straight away they're not meant to have that. Anyway, so how does this guitar play, sound and feel, etc. Um, at first try, it wasn't very good at all. It was probably $180 worth of Chinese rubbish. Um, the good things about it, it looks great. I think it looks absolutely wonderful. The flame top's really, really cool on there, as you can see. It's almost definitely a veneer. It is a real piece of mahogany on the back and the neck, and you can specify that you want one piece body and neck with those guys and things like that. So now it's been set up by Pete, it's really good. And again, these um, bare knuckle pickups really sing. So what I'm gonna do is just show you some basic sounds of clean and dirty and what they do. So this is the neck pickup. big kind of glassy Les Paul sound that you'd expect really. The middle pickup selection I've got is this um, out of phase kind of wired Peter Green honky sounds really cool. <laughs> really cool you can use some sort of single note lines as And then the back pickup tends to be a little thinner than I would expect, but again, a real two and a half, three thousand dollar Les Paul, you know, it's a proper piece of timber, it sounds great. This one, it's it's not as good, it's chambered far more, it's not a cut as precise, the, the techniques and the, the craftsmanship just isn't there really. But again, for the money, what do you want? <laughs> Can do a bit of that sort of no neck tone 
thing, the Clapton woman took. It's really cool. All in all, it's a versatile guitar for not much money at all. So for some rock sounds, I'm going to engage a Zvex Distortron, just a simple distortion pedal, not much gain on it, but to give you a sound of what it should sound like, overdriven. So my verdict for these guitars, if you're going to go to China and buy something that in my mind you should only buy if you want a little bit of fun, um, be prepared to do a lot of work when it gets here to be some kind of usable guitar in a gig or studio environment. Um, but overall, for me, for the money, they're really good fun. So yeah, if, if you're willing to sort of make those adjustments and get it set up properly by someone who will shout at you for doing so, um, yeah, have a go. Why not, eh?